What is up everybody? Today we are hitting the salt again. We are going to be tog fishing. Um, haven't been tog fishing since April, so it's been a while. I feel like I haven't, you know, I kind of lost my touch with it, but hopefully today we'll be able to put you on some tog. Um, here's what I'm going to be using for rigs today. All right, so for today's video, we are going to be using bottom sweeper jigs. Now, I know that there are a ton of jigs out on the market right now for, you know, tog, sheep's head, etc. But I've tried, I'd say, four different brands, and I would have to back Bottom Sweeper over them all, in my opinion. And there's a few reasons why. All right. So if you're using Bottom Sweeper jigs or any TOG jigs in general, you're using lighter tackle. So it's kind of changed the game for TOG fishing. Typically, you know, back in the day when you fish for TOG, you were using, you know, heavy conventional setups, you know, with. A regular tog rig with a dropper loop six inches up and probably using anywhere from you know three to six ounces of weight if you're uh, you know fishing in the back bay and six ounces or more if you're out in the ocean what these jigs have done has revolutionized tog fishing now i say that because you can use you know ultra light setups with these jigs in fact what i'm going to be using later today is a medium light you know flounder rod that you know, it's definitely not built for tog fishing, but, you know, with a 15-pound test line, you know, you get the fight of a lifetime with these jigs. Now, I do have a bunch of these bottom sweepers. I have a few that are still in the pack. You know, price-wise, they range anywhere from 4 bucks up. Um, you know, when you're going down in size, so we got half ounces right here. They got a 1.0 hook. One ounce moves up to 2.0. When you start getting to the big boys, I believe this is a three ouncer. You know, you're moving all the way up to a, you know, four o three o hook. I believe I'm sorry, three o. But uh, one of the brilliant things about these jigs is, if you're fishing for tog, you're fishing for sheep's head or any type of you know, bottom feeding fish like that that hangs around structure. One of the biggest problems is getting snagged. Now, I'm not saying if you use these jigs, you'll never get snagged. But the likelihood with these jigs to get snagged is less than, say, some other, you know, copycat uh, tog jig. And here's the reason. All right, if you look at the design of these jigs, all right, it's got like almost like a diamondish shape. Now, what's great about them is when they hit the bottom, the hook stays up. Notice how the hook is not facing down. So it makes it much harder, you know, for it to get hung up. If you have it dropping straight down, now some jigs aren't designed that way, and when the hook goes straight down, you're getting hung up on the bottom or hung up on structure. Now, the neat thing about these is I'm gonna move it. So right now it's sitting on its you know back. If I place it you know on its side like this, it ends up rolling back over. Same if I move it to this way. I don't know if you could really tell, but yeah, it just comes right back. Now Please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I've lost plenty of these jigs before fishing in really uh, sticky structure. But um, nevertheless, these are the way to go. Now, what I personally like to use is 50 pound test mono, uh, sometimes fluorocarbon. But personally, I don't think that there's a preference. I mean, I've used just tying straight line, you know, my my braided line to one of these and caught fish so I don't think there's much of a difference the reason why I go 50 pound test though um, one if you're fishing structure it gives you a little bit more strength you know if you're rubbing against pilings rocks bridges piers etc you know it gives you a better chance of not losing that line or you know snapping it off in the structure second reason tog do have teeth sheep's head do have teeth uh, God forbid they do swallow the jig and they're trying to bite through. It's going to be much tougher. Um, now, color-wise, I don't think there's a preference. I think it's mostly, it's, it's, what I would compare it to is like flounder fishing. It's like personal preference. Like, I like certain colors when I flounder fish. With tog, I, I really don't see much of a difference. I've caught them on, you know, white. I've caught them on plain, the fluorescent green and pink. So, I really don't think that there's, you know, one that works better than the other. The only thing I would suggest, though, if you are going to be using jigs, is 
start light and work your way up. For instance, I have, I believe this is the smallest one they make, which is quarter ounce. Um, I have some three eighth ounce ones. And I also have some half ounce as well as the ones and twos. The reason why you want to fish light is it, you're going to feel more of a fight than if you're using, you know, let's say this three ounce or where, you know, on light tackle, that's kind of a lot of uh, weight. All right, I think we talked enough about jigs for a lifetime, so let's get out and get some fish. I'm going to put on the bottom sweeper for first drop. So let's test her out. Just feeding it all the way through just like that. And we're going to drop it straight down, see if anything's hungry enough to eat it. Now this is a half ounce bottom sweeper. I prefer to use less weight if I can. Let me get her all the way down there. There we go. Felt like a little knock, but nothing substantial yet. Oh man, missed him. Drop it back down. Didn't lose it. Come on, Togzilla. I know Togzilla's down there. Little hits. Got him. Got him, baby. First fish. Let's go. Oh, son. Let's go. First fish of the day. Is a tog baby. Now, it's a baby tog. I'd say he's just going to be under. He's probably going to be just under the limit, but still a beautiful fish. All right, we're going to let this beautiful tog go. Whoa. And off he goes. All right, time to rebate. Now, like I said, you want to rip the claws off. <clears throat> you want to rip off the legs. You don't want anything that they can pull. Um, you know what I mean? If they could pull, if they could pull on the legs, they can pretty much rip the entire bait off. So what you're left with is just like a body. I throw the head off. Now, uh, when I'm feeding it through on a bottom sweeper, all I am doing is feeding it through one of the leg holes and out the side. That right there should be good. In fact, I'm gonna break a piece off and refeed it up here. That way they can't rip the bottom off there and that secures it. That's like a money bait right there. <clears throat> now I'm kind of dancing with the devil where I'm fishing right now because if a fish runs straight I'm kind of screwed but just gonna give it a shot oof had a hit and missed hopefully it comes back got him got him let's go fish on feels bigger definitely feels bigger Oh shoot, he's running me right into the structure. Oh man. Oh yeah, look at that tog. Look at that freaking tog, baby. Son. Man. This is fun. I'll tell you what, catching tog on light tackle is a blast. Now these things have some monstrous teeth, man. Check those out. And they got some on the bottom too. I'm not going to be stupid enough to put my finger in his mouth, but oh, that's uh, enough, enough with the shoot. Let's get this guy back in the water. Oh, poor guy. All right, let's go. 
All right, just dropped her down. Yeah. Got him. Ooh, son, this one's got some spunk. Not a big one, but it's got some fight. Oh, there he is. Whoa. That's a nicer size tog. I mean, definitely keep. Thank you. Definitely a keeper. I mean, <clears throat> but unfortunately we are not keeping these guys today because I'd rather the stock stay healthy. You know what I mean? If I throw this fish back, someone else can enjoy it. Now these are an absolute delicious fish, but, oh shoot. Oh buddy, I'm sorry. They are slippery. Slippery fish, man. The, they get the nickname Slippery Bass for a reason, but they are a good eating fish, but today we're just letting them live. One of the toughest things about this fishing is deciphering when to set the hook because there's a lot, when you're fishing like this, there's a lot of smaller fish, and right now I'm already getting little hits. I wait till the rod's pulling just enough. Like I'm getting these little tap, tap, taps. I'm assuming they're very small sea bass or small uh, tog but waiting for the bigger you know substantial hit which sometimes doesn't come there it did that time it did let's go baby just waiting you gotta just be a little bit of patient and we got ourselves another tog dude i'll tell you what man this is a small tog but they still have a pretty good fight to them Oof, man they are slippery man I'm not even just saying that, like, they are some slippery fish. Now, here's the beauty of these bomb sweeper jigs, man. It is very tough for them to get off this hook when, once that barb's set. But we'll let them go. Oh, that was the hit, and I missed it. Well, he didn't steal my bait, but that was a good hit. I know that guy's got to be back down there. We dropped it back down in hopes it'll come back. Little taps again. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Came back. He came back for it. Ooh, son. Trying to walk him away from the structure. Best I can. Ooh. Guy got a little fight to him. Look at that, man. Look at that freaking tog. Man, I'm trying not to drop this guy. I've, I've dropped too many togs so far today. But, man, they are slippery. Whew, man. There we go. And you can keep the crab. We are getting down to the wire, man. We have literally... Three crabs left. I, I honestly don't know how I blew through that many crabs that quick. But learning a valuable lesson today. <clears throat> Always bring more bait than you think you'll ever use. Next time I'm probably going to bring four dozen. If I blew through four dozen, man, either I, I'm not doing something right or the fishing was amazing. Waiting for the right hit. I'm getting little taps right now, but nothing big enough to set on. Man, a ton of little fish down there. Come on, I know there's got to be a big one. Oh, 
Oh, that was the one, and I missed him. That was the one. Drop it back down. That was a good hit. Man, take a few months off from tog fishing, and I'm definitely rusty, that's for sure. Got him. Got him that time. Got him that time, baby. Let's go. Ooh. This one's got a little backbone to him. Man, these things, pound for pound, are some tough fighters. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Man, this one might be the biggest one I had all day. With the exception of that first one I lost. Oh yeah, look at that. That guy's getting netted. Uh, <clears throat> not with, you know, 15 pound test. I'm not chancing it on this size guy. Look at this tog. If I can get him back up to the surface. Oh man, look at this giant. Look at this freaking giant, baby. Dude, dude, look at this thing, man. That's Togzilla right there, brother. That's freaking Togzilla. I'm about to get a quick measurement of this guy. Man. I am, I gotta wear gloves or something. I don't, I don't know how I keep dropping this main fish. But man, look at this beautiful freaking tog. All right, so this guy's pushing 18 inches, man. What a freaking beautiful fish. But oh, we're gonna get him back in the water. What a beautiful tog. Get him a quick release of him and off he goes. Someone else can enjoy him. All right, time to drop her back down. Whew, man, it didn't even hit bottom and it's getting hit. Just small hits right now. Oh, except for, got him, got him. That bigger one came and grabbed it. Whew, man, this one's got a little spunk in him. Woo! He's trying to get back to... Oh, man, look at that size one. I might have lied. This one might be bigger than the last one. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. Look at that freaking Togzilla, baby. Might be Togzilla's cousin. Oh, look at that freaking Tog, man. Now... If you are going to go fishing for these, remember your uh, state's laws. In New Jersey right now, we could legally keep one. Um, fortunately for them, we're not keeping any today. But freaking look at that. Nice tog, and off he goes. All right, this is it, man. We are down to our last crab. And we really got to make this guy work because <clears throat> this guy might... See if I could split into fours. That way I get four baits out of them. Yeah. You now we're in tough times, right? Got got to split the crab in four. There we go. Got him. Let's let's go. Last piece of bait. Ending the day with a fish. Man, just glad. Ooh, this guy's a little bigger too. Man, look at that. And they had one following him right behind him. That's pretty cool. Look at this tog. Beauty. <clears throat> Let's see if I can't get him. Man, that's a great way to end the day, man. That would have been another keeper right there. <sighs> Alright, we're going to release this guy. 